Hey guys, welcome back to today's college basketball pick video. In this video, we're going to be touching on eight matchups in college basketball. And if you're interested in what those games are, I'll throw those down in the video description. This is going to be for March 4th, 2017. As always, you can head over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, to get our daily free play. We picked up a winner yesterday with Missouri State coming through against the spread. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. And I'll throw the link to Stump the Spread down in the video description as well. And if you want more of this pick video content in the future, you can click that subscribe button. So... Heading right on into it today, uh, the first match I want to talk about is over in the SEC between Alabama and Tennessee. I actually really like the direction both of these programs are going right now. Alabama with head coach Avery Johnson and Tennessee with head coach Rick Barnes. Alabama has actually quietly put up some pretty solid results in the SEC this season, and they are uh, going to finish in the upper half of league play and uh, really finishing a little bit above where they were expected to be this season. This is a squad that's really been able to leverage their strong defensive effort, even though you know they don't always put up the greatest results on the offensive side of the ball. Alabama has been pretty consistent in bringing that defensive intensity on a game-to-game -game basis. Going on the road today, uh, defense usually travels a bit easier than offense, and that can work in Alabama's favor in this one. Also, you know, Tennessee, they're young and they have a lot of potential if this group sticks together. And, you know, on occasion, Tennessee has shown pretty well against some of the tougher teams they've faced this year. Um, but inconsistency has plagued this young group. And that's, you know, kind of be expected with a developing roster. Uh, Tennessee, you know, recently that loss on the road against LSU where they were just a sieve on the defensive side of the ball. Not the kind of results you want to see uh, as a Vols fan as we head down the stretch run here. And Tennessee definitely been fading a bit as of late and, It'll be interesting to see uh, if they're able to make any kind of postseason beyond the SEC tournament. Coming to this one, you know, not the most elite home court advantage, especially at this point in the year for Tennessee, given they haven't had always the greatest results. Um, you know, and then going against a really strong defensive team, if Tennessee's knocked down early on, uh, you know, they might not be able to fight back as much as you'd like, you know, you'd see out of a veteran team perhaps, but... Coming to this one, we feel like Alabama can keep things close and behind the strength of their defense, getting that three points, uh, you know, we really like their ability to potentially frustrate this Tennessee squad. So we're going to go ahead and side with Alabama, getting those points as the better value bet against the spread. Moving on down here, we have a matchup over in the ACC between Notre Dame and Louisville. This is a rematch of a game we saw earlier in conference play where Notre Dame on their home court was able to hold off Louisville and it was a very competitive matchup, but Notre Dame was able to get the win in that scenario. Coming to this one, Notre Dame sitting at eight-point underdogs. Louisville clearly, you know, a great home court advantage. But in their last signing, Louisville didn't look all that great against Wake Forest. Uh, you know, they weren't making the greatest decisions against the Demon Deacons as they went on to uh, give up what was a rather large early lead. Notre Dame not the most physical team by any means. They're, they definitely play with more finesse. And, you know, they don't beat themselves all that often. They definitely, um, you know, put it up to their opponents to really outplay them to get the wins. That's been working really well for Notre Dame in ACC play this year. And Notre Dame really doing quite a bit better than most were expecting them to do coming into the season. We expect this to be, you know, a somewhat competitive game. It'd be a surprise if Louisville wasn't able to get the win, especially on their home court. But, uh, you know, Notre Dame's been pretty solid on the road this year. And getting the eight points, we're going to go ahead and side with the Notre Dame Irish as the better value bet against the spread. All right, we have another matchup over in the East, or, uh, SEC here with Georgia and Arkansas. You know, Georgia have been able to pick up a number of wins recently, and some think that that's gotten this group back onto that bubble range. But, you know, without Yanti Mate in their leading score right now, that really makes things quite a bit more difficult for Georgia. And also, we think their recent, uh, you know, wins are more fool's gold than anything, as Georgia has been having a tough time even uh, getting by some of the uh, mid to lower tier teams in the SEC, you know, barely being able to beat LSU and in their last outing, having to hold on for dear life against Auburn at home, not necessarily the kind of results that inspire confidence. Georgia going on the road today against an Arkansas squad that was kind of fading more towards the bubble, but definitely over the past few weeks, Arkansas has improved their standing and uh, overall resume as they try to make the NCAA tournament. Arkansas definitely – uh, one of the clear teams under, um, you know, South Carolina and uh, Kentucky and Florida in the SEC that has at least a pretty decent shot at making the NCAA tournament. That makes getting a win today against Georgia extremely vital for the uh, Razorbacks. So behind their strong home court advantage and going against a Georgia squad that's not playing at full strength, and Arkansas has been playing pretty well on their home court as of late, we're going to go ahead and side with Arkansas, giving those six and a half to seven points right now as the better bet against the spread. As we scroll down, we come to a matchup over here in the Sun Belt between Georgia Southern and Georgia State. This is a rematch of a game we saw very early on in the year uh, in the Sun Belt. Georgia Southern on their home court, 
in actually what was arguably their best result of conference play went on to completely demolish Georgia State. They won that one by over 20 points. Obviously, Georgia State's better than what they showed in that one, and the Georgia State Panthers have been playing better more in the second half of conference play than they were back during the first half, but... Uh, you know, a result like that is hard to forget, and that's probably part of the reason why this spread has shifted down, opening at 7.5 points, going down to 6. And also, it just seems that Georgia Southern hasn't been getting all that much respect from Vegas this year. For whatever reason, it seems like uh, their opening spreads are never, um, you know, very respectable, and they usually shift in Georgia Southern's, uh, you know, away from them as, you know, things start to... The money starts to come in on Georgia Southern's side, so... Uh, this spread has shifted down a bit, but it's hard to forget that result Georgia Southern uh, put up against Georgia State earlier in the year. And getting those six to six and a half points right now with a team that's just been consistently undervalued by Vegas, we're going to go ahead and side with the Eagles, getting those points as the better value bet against the spread. All right, guys, halfway done through the games that I wanted to talk about today. We've got four more left. Uh, the next match I want to talk about is over in Conference USA. We have Charlotte and UTEP. Really, I've been riding UTEP pretty hard over the past month or so. This group has arguably been the best team in Conference USA over the past month to month and a half, which is pretty surprising considering where UTEP was back during the first half of the regular season. You know, coming into the year, some thought UTEP could be somewhat of a factor in Conference USA, but I don't think, especially after, you know, the results this group put up during the first two months of the regular season, anyone saw the Miners getting, uh, you know, the kind of results that they've been putting up, you know. They have a number of wins against the top teams in Conference USA over the past uh, month or so, and that has to make the Miners feel really confident as we head closer to the Conference USA tournament. Going against Charlotte today, and Charlotte's kind of been hanging around in that mid to lower tier range of Conference USA this year. Uh, you know, they're able to pick up a win here and there, but coming on the road today against a red hot team, Vegas has, you know, kind of been slow to pick up on UTEP's, um, you know, the big jump that they've made in their results. Uh, you know, after getting off to a really slow start this year. But UTEP, very solid defensive squad, and they have been bringing up their offensive play, which has allowed them to pick up just a ton of wins as of late. So we're going to go ahead and side with UTEP yet again today on their home court as they go on to cover this manageable six-point spread against Charlotte. Over in the ACC, we have a pretty intriguing matchup here against Georgia Tech and Syracuse. Both of these teams probably in the tournament right now, if you had to decide today, but, you know, both teetering around that bubble range. Both teams would love to get a win today. Georgia Tech earlier in conference play, actually it really wasn't all that long ago, was able to pick up a nice win against Syracuse at home. It was a very competitive game. Going to be a lot more difficult today for the Yellow Jackets as they go on the road, where Syracuse has been much better on their home court, and really all of Syracuse's resume building wins have been coming on their home court. Both these teams could really use a win today, it, probably Georgia Tech even more so than Syracuse. Syracuse probably a little bit safer than the Yellow Jackets at this point, but really just incredible what – um, both of these teams have been able to do this year. Uh, you know, Georgia Tech under he new head coach uh, Passner came over from Memphis, has been able to turn this thing around in year one and really get a lot of young guys there for Georgia Tech to play uh, with a lot more maturity and skill than you'd expect them to be playing. You know, many thought Georgia Tech was going to finish in the basement of the SC or ACC and have no shot this year. And just what they've been able to do, to do Passner definitely, in my opinion, deserves to be the ACC coach of the year. And then you have Syracuse last year – barely made it into the NCAA tournament. You know, many people thought that they didn't even deserve to make it in. They get in, they make a run to the Final Four somehow, and a lot of the key players on that group moved on to the NBA in the uh, last offseason. So Syracuse had to kind of reshuffle things, bring in some transfers, bring in some new recruits. And this new group uh, that is formed uh, maybe didn't have the greatest results back during the earlier parts of the year, but definitely have shown progress and are a team – especially when they're behind their home court advantage that have shown really well in the ACC. We do expect uh, Syracuse to win this one today behind their home court advantage, but if this is a lot of points to give. Uh, you know, Georgia Tech, one of the best defensive teams in the conference, and what should be more of a defensive battle here, we're going to go ahead uh, and, you know, the points coming at a bit more of a premium as a result. So we're going to go ahead and side with the 8.5 to 9 points right now and take Georgia Tech to go on to cover the spread. All right, guys, uh, just two more games left here, starting over in the Pac-12 between Stanford and Utah. We have Stanford here coming off a really brutal defeat in their last outing as Stanford went on to get throttled on the road by Colorado. Stanford just simply couldn't stop uh, the Colorado Buffalo offensive attack. 
now coming into this one, which is, you know, just as tough of a matchup, probably a little bit tougher even than what Stanford faced the other day. And then you have Utah, who's trying to make their case for the NCAA tournament. It's going to be hard for them given the fact that, you know, they really don't have the greatest non-conference results, uh, you know, compared to a lot of the other teams on the bubble. So Utah definitely needs to win this one in convincing fashion and then probably do some work in the Pac-12 tournament to get in the, into the big dance. But uh, the other day, Utah went on to completely dominate California for us on their home court. We did really like Utah going into that one as slight favorites, and they went on to win that one by 30 points. Uh, Stanford isn't quite the same kind of threat that Cal is. And, you know, Utah, one of the better home court advantages in the Pac-12. And this is really a Utah team that, you know, they haven't gone against the toughest schedule throughout the regular season, which has helped their numbers, but... Uh, you know, they rank in the top, well into the top 100 in both scoring average as well as total defense. Uh, so definitely a team that has shown the ability to blow out the lower tier teams in the Pac-12 this year. And we feel like Utah, behind their home court advantage again today, can really win this one in convincing fashion. They just need to bring off that same kind of defensive intensity they showed us the other day, and they should be able to go on to win and cover this 8.5 point spread. So we're going to go ahead and side with Utah again today uh, to go on to cover this spread. And just one more game I wanted to touch on in today's video. It's going to be a matchup over in the Mountain West Conference between Boise State and Air Force. When this one opened up at 3.5, I was uh, really heavily on Boise State, but unfortunately it has shifted away from the Broncos a little bit up to that 4.5 to 5-point range. I still like the Broncos here, you know, uh, a little bit earlier in conference play. Boise State on their home court was able to beat Air Force by double digits. And, you know, the Air Force Falcons, they've had a few results here and there throughout the regular season that have been kind of surprising as they've gone on to pick up uh, some decent wins or even compete in games you wouldn't necessarily expect them to be very competitive in, uh, you know, and they have a decent home court advantage, not the greatest by any means. Uh, coming to this one here, Boise State, when they're playing up to their ceiling, I think that they're arguably the best team in the Mountain West Conference, especially, you know, you can put them right up with Nevada, but Nevada, they've been playing without one of their best players throughout the entire regular season, so that does uh, hurt them slightly. It's going to be really interesting to see how things shake out in the Mountain West Conference. It's probably going to be more of a wide-open battle than most are expecting, but uh, if Boise State does bring their top level of play, they definitely have a great shot to potentially win the Mountain West Conference tournament, so it'll be interesting to see what they do uh, in that situation. Boise State still has something to play for at this point in the year as they try to play for positioning for that upcoming uh, Mountain West Conference tournament, so we're going to go ahead and side with the Broncos, giving the 4.5 to 5 points as the better value bet against the spread in this matchup. All right, guys, those are the games I want to touch on in today's video. Thanks for stopping on in again. As always, if you want to get our daily free pick, you can head over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, uh, and I'll throw that link down in the video description, and also you can click on the link here at the end of the video. And also, if you want more of this pick content in the future, you can click that subscribe button. So thanks, guys, for stopping on in, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.